What's up, YouTube? It's working. Say something. I'm back. Before we get to it, make sure you like, subscribe, subscribe as you always. Watch for a video. So CJ So Cool dropped a new track yesterday. Now, this time, instead of <laughs> rapping, he's actually singing. People in the comments were saying things like, he the new Rod Wave from now on. Someone else says, N-word, thinking he Rod Wave. So CJ did respond to some of the hate that he was receiving on Instagram. One person states, he corny as F. Another person <laughs> is claiming that CJ faked that home invasion. So CJ asks the question, don't know if you can tell, but he just want attention. He really a fan or no. Then he states, how do people continue to claim me being in a home invasion was fake when they got caught already and they're all facing life for the 12 homes they burglarize. Damn. Then he states, and how does someone that hates you so much follow you on Instagram? Now, I also saw a lot. Got you there. He do got you there, bro. Mike, I don't, I don't, I don't say I don't like him because I don't know him personally, but I don't like some of the stuff that be going on with him on the internet. So therefore, yeah, I don't follow him. I don't follow him. I don't follow Corey because what's the point? Like you said, why are you following somebody that you don't like? Like that makes no sense. And then for the robbery part, I thought it was fake. But then once I seen that, hey, somebody actually did get caught. Somebody is people. People are in jail doing time. Yeah, that's not fake. Ain't no way you can fake. I mean, yeah, ain't no way you can fake that for, for real. For real. And then, well, I wouldn't say that that does make him look like a you know. But then again, I don't. I don't look at CJ as a street dude, and I don't think he ever claimed to be one. So therefore, it ain't snitching. It's protecting yourself. Good comments on people actually filling this song that CJ put out. If you guys have checked it out, what do you guys think of it? And if you haven't checked it out, you guys go check it out now. Come back here and let me know what you guys think of this new track. Again, it was... If I, if I end up listening to the song, I'm more likely going to react to it. If I do, make sure you follow my main reaction channel, King Says and Reacts. All together, King Say So Reacts. All together, link might be in the description, might not be, but go check it out. Mostly him singing, he wasn't doing too much rapping. But now let's move on to this next topic with Ty Taylor. Now for the past month or so, people have been speculating that she's pregnant after she's been spotted multiple times with what appears to be a pregnant stomach. Now Ty has went on and on again about how she is not pregnant. Now every time that Ty has gotten caught, it's been from Deja's Snapchat. Well yet again, Deja <laughs> captured Ty on her Snapchat. And as you can see in the back here, oh, yeah. People are stating it appears that Ty is pregnant. Well, of course, we can't confirm anything and we can only go by what Ty is stating. And if she is pregnant, she's wanting to hide her pregnancy. She's not willing to yeah. open up about her being pregnant at the moment if she is. Now, they were out on a fan. Yeah, that's for sure. A, a pudge right there, boy. There is no denying that. And mind you, like look at the look at the photos, you no, know, that they, that when they first showed Ty, flat stomach. That's a that's a belly right there. I take it from a dude with a belly. <laughs> that's a belly right there. Right? Ain't no ain't there is there's no denying that. Now mind you, mind you bloated again. Never know. My party just ate a, a a good good meal. She's stuffed. Kinda walk it off. You never know. But come on, man trip yesterday and this is where she was captured on camera through Deja's Snapchat. So maybe she's not ready to share because there's going to be a lot of questions on who is the child's father and all that. And maybe she's not ready to answer all those questions now or share that part of her life. Now, someone did tell her your sister showed you pregnant again in the fishing footage on her Snapchat. Now Ty responded with, can y'all watch her content and enjoy her content for what it is and stop watching it just to see if you can. No, they're not going to do that. They're not. They were doing the same thing when it came to Hattie and DBG. It was like, bro, like, mind you, as a person that watches his videos and I was reacting to the video, I still didn't notice the thing that I was seeing. 
still didn't notice it. Like <laughs> it was like people was turning the brightness up and then zooming in. Like that cause cause the thing that, that that was being spotted is like, bro, how did you spot that? But then again, I wasn't looking for nothing to spot, so therefore I guess it's a little different. See me in there it's draining so now this time she's not denying her being pregnant but she's just asking everyone to stop trying to pick apart Deja's snapchats to see if they can see ty in the background pregnant so Corey and his girlfriend have been together for less than a month and a young lady has already reached out to Corey, stating that his girlfriend has been cheating on him. Now, according to Maddie, what? this is someone that she used to talk to in the past. Well, his wife has reached out to Corey to let him know Maddie has been sleeping around. When his wife went and DM'd, John's wife went and DM'd Corey, talking about some, I don't know how long you've been with her, but she F my man on this day, on this day. Some weird ass shit. Like, the bitch is weird, bro. The bitch is weird. She's lame as fuck. And so then I end up like black and reaching out to her. Cause it's like, girl, you trying to start some shit that's like, you don't even know what the fuck you talking about, you weirdo. You lame ass hoe. I'm not a girl girl with her. I like girls. I hate that bitch. Simply because she is so fucking dumb. Like, and she drags the shit out. And it's like, bitch, you trying to make, you trying to beef with me over your nigga. I hate dumb bitches. Like, I hate a woman that's like, you see, one plus one equals two. You see how he did you. You see how he was carrying it. You see, you see it. You see, you see all of it. And you still, like, you you woke up at a, she said TDM Corey at 10 a.m. For you to wake up and say, okay, I'm about to go sit here and do, it's like, you are, like, she gave me a headache that day. And so um, we, went, we went back and forth, and then John reached out to me, yelling at me. And it was mad funny. I wish Corey was here. He's over there, but he's not going to want to entertain this this part. But it was mad funny because um, she called. he calls me. He yelling at me for like, he yelling at me because apparently some of y'all went to go DM her, the wife, and was saying mean stuff to her. So he's like, you got your fans, you got your followers coming in and DMing and DMing my wife. You, da -da -da. Like, I'm not fucking playing with you, I swear to God. But he's like, he was trying to curse me out. Make a long story short. He like, you need to respect my wife. And then in the background, mind you, this isn't his wife, by the way. This is like, you know, they're just delusional. They call each other wife and husband. I don't know, me personally, I would never let a nigga call me his wife unless there's a ring on it and unless you gave me a last name. But to each his own. So he's sitting there. Um, um, he gonna say, you need to respect, you need to respect my wife. Whoop -de whoop, Y'all, it's so fucking funny. Why the hell, why the hell did he, um, so at, when he says that, she goes, he, he goes, um, she don't gotta, he goes, she don't gotta respect me. The bitch don't gotta respect me. And then I said, it's like, what, are y'all delusional? So now I'm sitting here thinking like, y'all are fucking delusional. So I'm listening, but I'm like, I, when I move on, y'all, I move on. And it's shocking to people. But I, I'm, I'm with a whole new nigga. Literally, she was on speaker and Corey right next to me. Why the fuck the nigga girl go in the background? Tell her, tell her, fuck you, bitch. And he goes, <laughs> fuck you, bitch. <laughs> Bro, we start, me and Corey started peeing on ourselves. That shit was so funny. Cause it's yeah, like, y'all are really sick. Y'all are miserable. Like two. That's funny as hell though. That that now that would have had me that would have me rolling right there. If I'm if I'm arguing with my ex or whatever, and then there's never gather say say this and they say it, you, you don't get the hell off my phone with that man. Like get up out of here. But this is crazy. And she's doing she's doing a lot of talking, but she ain't said it. she didn't do it. Like you doing a whole story time breakdown. Did you do it? Did you do it? Yeah, you, they're delusional, but is it true? That's crazy, though, bro. Fucking kids. Like, what? Like, you should have seen it, y'all. Y'all should have seen it. Like, y'all should have seen it. Like, do you model for Milano? Yes. But, um, which part again? Okay, when she said, okay, so <laughs> they're both 42. The woman's 42 years old. Like, <laughs> what? Y'all are 40. She with another man cussing her out, calling her names. It's crazy. 
Like, I was just so confused. Like, y'all called me. Y'all called me to call me. We gotta for sure leave drama to the youngest. Drama is for 20 to 25. I mean, you know, younger and whatever, but the 20, like, the max 25. That's it. Once you get 25, you need to stop. You need to stop arguing with people. You need to stop being in drama. If it's if somebody trying to enclose you into the drama, you need to walk away from it. No, what? No, I for sure not arguing with nobody, male, female, whoever, at this age. No. I ain't know. My office joy ain't young enough to be sitting there arguing with you, bro. I'm not finna do that. Nah. It's either you gonna scrap or you gonna move on. And more likely, I'm I'm more likely on some let me move on because bro, I, again, I'm a Gemini, bro. Unless you push to I let people push a lot of buttons, I ain't gonna lie. Because it takes a lot to to fully, fully piss me off. So if you do, I'm gonna give you what you want. But I'm gonna try to avoid it before I let you do that. To say F U B I T C H, mm -hmm. mind y'all, it was like two. It was like a whole two weeks went by. It was like a whole two weeks went by. Like I'm so off y'all. I so moved on from y'all. Like I say y'all because clearly this type of triangle situation. Like I'm like, and my thing is, is like I, it was peace and quiet. So now y'all want to come back and bother me because I moved. I moved on to a new nigga. And now you want me, y'all, cause oh, you know what it is? Y'all want me to date both of y'all? I brought excitement to y'all little fake marriage. Let me know, clearly. Y'all life boring without me? Because it made no sense. It was like nobody at all. Do you know what it means? Like I blocked him on everything. I didn't block him on my Instagram, I lied because I didn't have to. Like nigga, you gonna see I'm doing good. But I blocked his numbers. <laughs> he was calling me no call ID all the way up until she went and DM. He was calling me no call ID. I wasn't even answering him no more. I don't care. When I stop caring, I don't care. Do you get what I'm saying? I'm not like the fake, like, no, no, I don't care. Oh, God. So it's like. No, I think she said she was a Libra. Cause I was like, she must be a Taurus. Because Taurus are somewhat too close to Gemini's. So therefore, they get to act like this. I'm that same way. I swear, you can. Once I cut you off, you can stand right next to me. And I will say nothing to you. Nothing. Um, <clears throat> I'm I'm over this. And next thing you know, it's like nobody at all. The girl goes and DMs my new nigga, so, the woman, because she's supposed to be a woman. DMs my new nigga, talking about a whole bunch of nay. It was just like, what made you like? I just feel like some of y'all in here forty. I want to know like. No disrespect, but like, as a forty-year-old woman, like, what are your even what? What is that acceptable? Like, that doesn't make sense to me. Like, I just can never be forty. Six Age has nothing to do. It's about it's, it's about maturity. It's, it's for sure about maturity. Because hey, a lot of us, a lot of us was a hey, hit maturity at eighteen. We was already on some. Let me move smart. Let me move around. Let me do this. Let me move more cordial because, hey, even though, like I said, yo, the max of being included into drama should be 25, but a lot of us was cutting it off at 18, 19, 20. We're done. Leave me alone. If you want to argue, move on because I don't have time for that. Bro. I've got too much stress, too much things I'm focused on, too many things I'm thinking about to be arguing with some random, not even if you ain't random, but arguing in general is just lame. No, move on. Move, please. Move, move, move past me. <laughs> please continue on with your life. And around going to DM a 26 year old boy about a 27 year old girl. Like, I just could not do that. Like, I'm sorry. Like, I'm so sorry. Wow, wait. She, she's 27. Her ex is 40 something. What was you doing? What was, what was you doing? That's, that sounds kind of crazy. I ain't gonna lie. I gotta act like that right now. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I ain't gonna say your name. I ain't gonna say her situation. But she's for sure not close to her baby daddy's age. I'm gonna just say that. And it's crazy to me. Like, what was you thinking? Like, I'm scratching I'm my head because I'm just like.
and I would not like what made you like I just feel like I'm thinking about me like if I like me now like me right now I would me at 26 I'm not DMing no yeah. I'm not DMing no no so guys for six months like not once like go out and come back in for six months y'all not once not once did i did it even cross my mind that this man was dating another woman or with another woman like because that's how much he invested into me you get what i'm saying like it was like it didn't even cross my mind like is this is it's not even possible that you like that i didn't even think that he could cheat on me and i really felt like he worshiped you know what it means to feel like somebody really loves you and like they don't just say it they showing you like they're show, like they're doing they're going out their way they're doing shit to show you like this is not about Corey. oh my god don't nobody want to keep talking about Corey, bro sometimes a person can, can show you exactly everything that you want and still be out doing them sometimes it's just them it's like how and when it comes to like flirting or whatever Sometimes people say, oh, some some people look at, oh, you got game, you got risk. No, I'm just talking. I'm just, <laughs> I'm just saying, like, how I get down, how I move. And it sounds like game because other people aren't doing this. I'm being bold enough to tell you how I like things, how, how I want things, how I'm going to do things, how, you know, if it ends up, you know, the ends and out of life, of, of me or whatever. I'm telling you this because I'm being genuine with you. I'm being real with you. Other people don't, so therefore the things I'm doing. Oh, he, he's for the game. He give me his all. No, I'm, I'm not even. Get, I ain't even getting close to giving you my all. I'm just doing me, and it seems like it is. It's it is not normal compared to what the other people are doing. Therefore, you're taking it as oh, this person is worshiping me. No, this person is just doing regular stuff that they regularly do, and it's just not the same stuff that other uh, other people are doing. That's why I, I always say. A lot of, like, you know, humans. A lot of us are, are the same, no matter the sign, no matter the age, no, no matter the, the background that you come from. A lot of us are the same. But the thing, the, the, our reasoning for doing certain things will always be different. Unless you 100% copying somebody. It's not about Corey. Damn, I'm talking about another story. Another story. Fuck. That's why, you, that's why I hate being public with a nigga, bro. This shit's annoying as hell. Like... Damn it. Anywho. So, so irritated. I'm sorry, y'all. I had a moment because I'm so irritated. Like, that shit is so irritating, bro. Like, but yeah, so like. <laughs> Somebody said, girl, this will be Then you shouldn't have went public. Shouldn't have. But Corey did it, so here we are. Nah, 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 don't play me on him. This is on you. This is on you. When you start talking to him, when he hits you up, when you hit him up, where however it went. You hey, me personally, I'm I'm looking up I'm looking up. I for once I see your Instagram, I see or this is this is the type of uh how many subs you got. I see the tag pictures, you see a link in about in the body. Yeah, this is a very, very public person. So therefore you had the option of nah, I don't want to be public. So therefore, I'm, I'm gonna step away. You had the option. You gave the option. Moving along. So yeah, y'all. So the freak. <sighs> yeah, I keep getting distracted. So for six months with my ex, this is my ex, and I didn't, I didn't want to call that nigga my ex, with the weirdo. Um, I had no idea. I had no idea. I had no idea. No idea. No idea. And, um, y'all believe her or what? Let me know in the comments. I had no idea. Like, this man really just did the most. Like, I'm trying to tell you. So, for then, for me to find, so of course, you know, I find out or whatever. Turn your comments off. Uh, no, it's okay. I'm just not going to respond. Like, girl, you talking about the same shit. I talk about the same shit. I am talking about the same <laughs> shit. I'm not tired of talking about it. My whole point was is that I was explaining to y'all why, like, I don't understand her issue with me. Like, I, both of you and I are the victims here. 
at the end of the day, plain and simple, this nigga lied to you. He clearly hates you. Like I, I swear to God, if a nigga did me the way that he did her, I would never in my life think to take him back. Like that's the one thing about me. Like I don't get how women get dogged out so damn bad by these niggas and wake up and say, okay, period, I'm gonna take you back. Like there's nothing, there's no heaven or hell that can keep me with a nigga that could do for this whole six months you you are entertaining a whole nother female. You're doing all this you're doing all this shit. Like you're going you're That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. Anybody can get put in that position. If you really like somebody, you truly love somebody, love and have it like somebody, I'm always saying it will make you do and be in positions that you know you should not be in. You know for a fact you shouldn't be getting treated like this. But it's not that easy just to walk away. In the beginning, yeah, if you start putting, I mean, it's this, still depend on the person. But if you're doing shady stuff in the beginning, yeah, now, yeah, then I can easily walk away because we're not tied in yet. But if we're locked in, we've been locked in for some months. Yeah, it's not that easy. Take it, to, take it from a man. And since we're the dogs, it's not that easy to walk away. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, bro. Like, I've been, I've been in positions that that had me like, what? Like, even even now, I'm like, I can't believe I even let you say that to me. But in my position. Females say certain things to certain dudes that they know for a fact wouldn't go upside their head. I'm not that dude. So, therefore, females try to take advantage of that. Because they know for a fact I'm going to argue as much as I want to talk to you. Like, I'm gonna argue, like, if we got to argue, then, yeah, all right, we're going to argue. But they know for a fact, a guaranteed fact, this nigga, me, would never, ever put, the, put his hand on it. So, they said they low-key take advantage of that. Crazy, though, but. Like you're literally doing too much like you're doing way too much. You're building a whole life with somebody like you built a whole life with somebody else While I'm here like I, I scratch my head at the thought of that like why do people you just move on just let go and move on Like and so on my end obviously same thing was happening to me. I had no idea this nigga was doing me anyhow so Yeah, like what the freak so for her I feel like for his wife or fake wife, because they're not, remember, they call each other wife and husband, but they're not legally married. So for, for her to be now mad at me and be trying to now ruin my new relationship or trying to do, as a 40-year-old woman, I find that concerning. Yes, I do. I find that concerning, and I find that weird as shit. Because it's like, huh? Like, why are you trying to beef with me? You trying to, his, the, his, the girl that he with is 40. She's 40. It's weird you speaking on your ex. I'm only speaking on it because I did a whole story time that has gone viral on it. So people are asking me about it. And he's 42. That's the only reason why I'm speaking on it. And y'all kept asking about it. But, um... Yeah. Are you healed in that piece of the situation that you're recording your Corey, you're glowing? Yes, I am. I am. I'm actually really happy, y'all. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I really didn't think like that, like that I would see the light of motherfucking day. Okay, period. I did not. Like that shit was so like and not gonna lie, like situations like my ex situation, it is traumatizing. Like let's not make it that it's not, like it is traumatizing at the end of the day. But life goes on. And that's yeah. how I see shit. I, I try to look at everything as a learning experience. I try to look at everything like, you know, like there. I'm grateful even to him. Like, even though he did a lot of bullshit, I'm grateful, you know, for like how he how he helped me. Like, and, and what I've gotten from the situation, like, I wouldn't wish it on nobody to go through that. But it is what it is. I've moved on. And it's not even just moving on with a person. I've just Boy, moved on from the situation. Like once I, I'm like that, y'all. I could be so stuck on something, miserable, like crying, whoopty, like losing my mind, and then would just click. And it's like, wait, what am I doing here? And now that, that's what it was for me with my ex. Like it clicked. Like, am I really finna like sit here and still be like crying every day over some nigga? That's what we not we not gonna do that, bro. Keep I mean, even if you ain't crying about him, like if you. Suppose that you're moved on and you're good and you don't care and all the other stuff, you wouldn't even be talking about it. Yeah, even though they hit you up, you wouldn't even gave 
you wouldn't you wouldn't let that give <laughs> how I'm trying to put this. You wouldn't let that moment make you give them the time of day if you was a hundred percent over it. Obviously, you still feel some type of way. That's why you're speaking on the situation right now. Like that's why, hey, people, it's okay to feel some type of way. It's okay to to be mad, to be upset, to be whatever that you're feeling. It's okay. It's okay. It's temporary. It's it's okay. But hiding it, denying it, it's not gonna help you at all.